Rise and shine, gang. Breakfast is ready. Then we've got to pack up and hit the road. Let's go. Sensors detect. A loud, irritating noise. Duchess, want to tone it down a bit? Any signs of trouble out there, Polly? Those raiders who torched this place have not come back. At approximately 2 a.m., I had a very brief discussion with what appears to be a half-human, half-mole rat before reducing them to ash. Morning, everyone. What's cooking? Duchess, look, could we maybe slow up a bit? Soul snoring kept me up half the night. What's the hurry to move on? We've been in Amada's hair long enough. She's got cleanup and repair work to do and has a lot of decisions to make. It's hard for anybody to have a clear head with all of us banging around distracting her. Good morning. Hey, darling. How are you feeling? Honestly, tired, empty, exhausted. Well, change is like that. So is heartbreak. Look, why don't you think about coming with us? Come on over here. I whipped up some of my famous pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes? Pumpkin pancakes was a specialty of mine at the truck stop way back when. You worked at the Red Rocket truck stop? Sure did. For a little while anyway. Cook, waitress, ER nurse. Before I... Well, let's just say I became a bit of an entrepreneur after that. Duchess has had a bit of a colorful career. Now that's enough of that, Polly. Did someone say pancakes? Hey, Crane. Morning, Crane. And this one, on the other side of me, snoring even louder than Soul. Sorry about that. Moonshine hit me a little hard last night. Hey, I was thinking about your suggestion to map the caves and mines, Amada. Not a bad place to start. Your pit boy can generate and map out areas, right? Yeah. A quick run through and we should be able to eyeball any unusual rock formations, hidden entrances, or doors. Although, if this treasure exists, I can't imagine it'll be very hard to miss. Y'all still think this treasure exists? It's plausible. But it still doesn't answer the obvious question on why. If someone knew about something none of us did after living here for years, they wouldn't just keep that to themselves. It is a bit weird that someone would just broadcast a secret that big from the pit to the Atlantic. Depends on if someone had an idea that there was a treasure and didn't have the means to search themselves. You get hundreds of people showing up here in Appalachia, poking through every dark hole. It's a good way to find it faster than on your own. Let everyone else do the work for you. Before you swoop in after they find it. I'd like to see them try. I'll happily bake anything to a crisp that so much as muscles in on our find. You tell him, sis. Man, these pancakes are good. More, what are you doing? What? I'm turning on the radio. What does it look like? We were talking, darling. Now, oh, give me a break. So these two DJs do this morning drive time radio show, minus the driving. You can tell they can't stand each other. One talks funny and the other one yells all the time. <laughs> That's the Night Wolf and Charles Bishop. Tonight I think High Priest Solomon does the Mothman Porchlight Theater. I am detecting a lot of static, Mort. Turn that thing off. They are obviously not on the air, or you're not working that thing right. Yeah, yeah. I know how to work a radio. They're always on the air. That's odd. Good morning, you fighting orphans of Appalachia. This is your bacon and egg start to the weekend. I'm Ash Rose, your voice of freedom, brought to you by your friends at vault Gather close. Reception okay? It better be, because this is an all-request live day. Your favorite songs of better times. Who on earth is that? I don't know. She's new. vault They're dead and gone. Today, I've got a selection of notes passed up from the dark spots and high places of West Virginia. Your memories and dreams for a better tomorrow. To 
tomorrow. That's what we're ready for, isn't it, friends? When things get back to the way they used to be. Back in the vault. Or before the war. Peace, prosperity, and a feeling like you were safe. That sounds like a bunch of propaganda garbage to me. Just play the damn song already. Quiet, more. We're listening. Now I know. I'm a new voice on the airwaves, whispering in your ear. And you may be wondering, why the change? Well, friends, all I can tell you is that you should trust in vault -Tec. We're back. We're here now. And from here on out, things will be different. And it's okay to be a little scared. Fear is natural, but so are things that we can cling to that help us through the times when we're scared. Things like patriotism, pride in our great nation and faith, faith in vault -Tec, faith in each other, faith that change can be a little scary, but always pays tenfold in the end. Something's very wrong here. You know, we wish we could have been here sooner, spared you all of these years of chaos and confusion, but we're here now. And after so many of you reached out asking for help, reporting on the failings of your 5-0 new responders, the new Brotherhood of Steel factions, and the former voices you heard on these very radio waves, and your former overseer, we were obligated to investigate. What we found was shocking. A secret grand jury was convened of your fellow 76ers and found widespread corruption, profiteering, theft, kidnapping, even murder. All perpetuated by a ring of power-hungry, unpatriotic opportunists. Yes, opportunists. The evidence of their crimes will be shared with you when the time is right. But rest assured, vault will keep you safe. We'll keep you free. Bullshit. Bullshit. Jinx. <laughs> but enough of these discussions of conspiracy and un-American activities. It's a beautiful morning in Appalachia, and a beautiful dawn of a new day for all free men and women. Our first song request is made by none other than your steward, the judge. And guess what? He wants this little number by Roy Williams, who wants us to remember the days of old. I remember the days... What was all that about? It's par for the course for Appalachia. Usually things only get weird around Halloween when we fight scorched trick-or-treaters, the devil, or aliens from outer space. Are... are you kidding? Welcome to Appalachia. <laughs> but it's not my problem anymore. Don't care. Where are you going, darling? You haven't finished your pancakes. They were great. But... This place is like an old band-aid. Sometimes, you just have to rip it off quick to move on. Here. What's this? The deed. It'll unlock and encode the camp module to you. Just scan it in front of the iris and it'll transfer ownership. I don't understand. I'm giving it to you. The main building is gone, but it's got ample power, a good location, and water access. It's the best place you're going to find to settle down. Amada! That's... If I had tear ducts, I'd fake cry. That's a hell of a thing to do, kid. Thank you, darling. Um, normally, I'm the one with a sage word or two. I got nothing to say. Where are you gonna go? Not sure yet. Never really found my place out here. Well, hell. I'm gonna go hit some of the caves and mines. Want to come with me? Tempting. But I think I need to be alone for a bit. Clear my head. Perfectly understandable. Come here. Give us a hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't be a stranger now. I won't. Goodbye. Now ain't that a hell of a thing. So, what do you think, Duchess? I think we're home, gay. Couple of trailers, a bar, tavern, maybe a room to rent for travelers. Quite a little wayward spot. Uh, what should we call it? I've got just the thing.
<laughs> I think you're supposed to, like, yell that before you hit them. You know, I have to say, we've been sleeping on playing golf with live grenades. You're up, Double P. Pull the pin and nine iron that thing straight through a window. It's too quiet out here. Like four. Oh, rats. Missed again. Uh, that's you need to hurry up and. Son of a bitch, I'm on fire! Oh my god, drop it all. Drop and roll. You need to work on your form, kid. Oh man. Oh, Fritz! I'm like, oh, what now? Uh. Sorry. Well, like, turn around. You can't see my nipples. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> Look, I'm a gentleman. Take my sweater. Here. Not bad, Fritz. You're rocking a full tin of biscuits on that chest. There. Dry and warm? Uh, I'm like uh, shivering. That water was cold, Fritz. What the hell? I hope it wasn't irradiated. No, no, it was fresh. Come here. We'll get you dry. Better? It's getting there. Still sh shivering, though. We can probably fix that. Aw, oh, I'll b b bet you can. I can teach you, you know. To swing, I mean. It's not that hard. Just need to, uh, work on your form a little. Find the right club. Why don't we go on over to the driving range? Driving range? Like, do it in public? Oh, Jesus Christ, on a jetpack double P, that is not what a driving range is for. I love you, girlfriend, but some days you're an engine spinning with a parking brake on. Fourth! Oh, Troll Shanka! Some stupid bitch got dirt and grass in my eggs, Benedict. Make me another. Oh, don't you talk back to me, Miss Mama. I don't care where you find the eggs. Who did that? Hey, princess. How's the eggs? <laughs> oh, it's you! Drollshanka, hold my fluffy slippers! I'm gonna slap someone silly! Oh, not this guy again. And you! I love what you've done with your hair. How did you get it to come out of your nostrils like that? Oh, God. Can we, like, just go? Or kill him? Or kill him and go? Fritz, it's 7 a.m. The golf course isn't supposed to be open until 9. Ah, yes, quite. Well, the early bird and the worm and all that. Pip, pip, eh, what? What? Eh, hey, what? What, what? What, what? What, what? You can drop the act, you chisel-chested street trash. Everyone knows you're a raider. Now get out of here before I call security. I've been called worse things. By better men. Oh <laughs> god, this guy is such a buzzkill. Let's go finish tweaking out the golf club's defenses. We need at least five more missile launchers, and maybe I'll be happy then. Bye! Hope to see you never! Drollshanka! Get my corns tonic! These puppies are killing me! Make sure to put your back into it this time when you rub it in. David Toon does not walk around with corns in public. Hey, what are they up to? Boy, howdy, men in uniform. Let's go say hi. I haven't ruined someone's relationship expectations in a while. I think that's like those judgy guard people. Engineering team 
Charlie reporting in. White Springs receiver online. Confirm remote connection. Access denied. You are not authorized to access White Springs security from this location. Engineer Team Charlie, Fletcher here. We only have 80% control. Check connections again. We're getting some interference. Cut bunker surface connections if you need to. Hey, you three. Nothing to see here. Move along. Well, hey, tall, dark, and assertive. What are you and Four Eyes up to over there? Why spring maintenance? Go about your business. It's no good. I'm severing bunker service connections to isolate the White Spring Central computer. Roger that. You are attempting to sever a secure and confidential network. Cease this action immediately. Cease this disconnecting. Cease this. Bunker connections are cut, sir. I'll tell you what, Black Ops Daddy. What if we went about my business? You boys always on the job, or do you make time to buy a gal a drink? Hi. You. You need to move along. You want to pull it together there, Brown? Engineering Team Charlie to Tower Air Command. Reconfirm remote connection. Yeah, that did it. Report back to base. Fletcher out. What are you two doing hacking into White Spring security? That's a mainline connection to the central AI. Yeah, words and stuff. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. What if I want to find out now? Come on. Brown, tell Mama Alice what you naughty boys in black are up to, and I'll be very, very pleased with you. I... Oh, you need to... Back up! Let's all calm down now, fellas. We're moving along. I think the time for that has passed. Up against the wall. Don't you tell me what to do. Patsy, come on. Do what he says. No problem, Blondie. Just let me give Brown here a good bye kiss. Uh, um... Goodbye! <laughs> Run! Oh god! God, kick him off! Hold still! She tied him to your... Thanks for the memory, boys! <laughs> what did you do? I tied the rest of our golfing grenades to his belt buckle. Gets them every time. What do you think that was all about? Who even cares? Come on, let's go finish decorating, and then we need to, like, think of a name for our raider gang and show these posh assholes a thing or two. What did you have in mind? Oh, this should be good. So listen, you know all these condo units, right? They're like everywhere, but you can't get into them. Yeah. We could like sell them, but like sell the same one in pieces. Tell people they can afford it by sharing their time with other morons staying here. Then when they figure out the doors won't open, we can totally ice them and steal their junk after we've stolen their caps. Ladies and gentlemen, Raider Queen Patsy, White Spring Timeshares, oh, the horror. That's not a bad idea, but maybe we can talk about one of your other ideas. The one we talked about. Oh, that is like the best idea. So everyone is super dirty and gross out here, right? Same underwear for years. So what if we go door to door and sell fancy beauty stuff like shampoos, tonics, and skincare? Promise them it does everything from enhancing your love life to regrowing your hair. The secret ingredient to Patsy's beauty best hair and skincare? Radioactive fucks. I think you mean flux. Yeah, that too. Once everyone totally dies, we'd have lots of paper bags to raid. Fritz. Gotta say, it's adorable that you're her yes ma'am, but honestly, Double P, we need to think bigger. Hey, what's the name of the raider bot, the one you told me about? Rose? Yeah, her. She has a radio station? I think so. Well, you never went to see her? God, no. Gag me with a toothpick. 
Moose did, and she tried to hook him up on a day with a death claw or something. I don't know, I wasn't really listening when he was screaming for help on his radio. Turn on your pit boy radio. Let's hear it. It's story time with Rose! Once upon a time, there were two groups of people. One group of good people who needed food and supplies, and one group of bad people who had food and supplies. The good people asked the bad people to share, but the bad people said no. The good people realized that dead people don't need food and supplies. So, they grew a spine, went to where the bad people lived, and killed them. Then, the good people went to bed with full stomachs and whatever else they needed. The end. The moral of the story is, be a raider, because everyone else is a loser. (laughs) If you want to know more, you know where to find me. Yes! That is the energy we need. Okay. Let's finish setting up our new pad and then go see if she wants to join her little gang. After we hit the mall, I need new clothes. These ones are all burned and stuff. (laughs) We can do that. Buy something nice. My treat. Buy something nice. My treat. If we're looking for a gang name, might as well go with Soft Soaps. No rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more Oh, yeah I've been running so long That no wall, mama. That bucket. Can't build house and tree with buckets. Stupid mama hungry girl. There's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, there's a hole. Sing it, Mr. Bear. I don't really feel like... I said sing it, Mr. Bear. All right, all right. Jeez. Then fix it. Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, then fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, fix it. Now, Mama! Oh, look, Mr. Punch, an old tire. Maybe you can make us a tire swing. Duh, but tire for car. (laughs) No, Mr. Punch, we can tie a rope around it and hang it from our tree, and we can go swingy swing. Mama say she taking her big backpack. Thank you, Mama. Mr. Punch, is Chad okay? What you mean? Well, I don't know. He seems so sad sometimes. Maybe we make him some fries. Punch make cake? No. No, I don't think it's like that. Things have just been different. We used to have fun all day long. Now, he just looks tired. I think, I think it's a deep sad. Punch say maybe he need hot mo girlfriend. (laughs) No mama, you nasty. (laughs) I don't think that's it. Sometimes the door will open too fast, or like this morning when you dropped the pot of soup and he came running out real fast. He just looks sad, angry, or maybe like he's waiting for something. Waiting for Santa? Maybe when we get home and we're working on our treehouse, we could ask him. Yeah, yeah, that's true, Mr. Honeypot Bear. Maybe, oh... 
I know, his birthday! It showed birthday? Maybe. I don't know. He never said when it was. Wait, we've never thrown him a party. He always throws parties for us. Or does Christmas or Halloween or whatever. Let's do something just for him. Oh, punch like. Now punch make cake with yummy honey frosting. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. You better save me a slice. What's that? <laughs> Mama say that one of her kids, they look for trash and stuff to sell for her. Mama's got kids? Are they like me? They like Mama. Smell bad. Well, let's go say hi. Hi. There my name is. <laughs> my name is... Hey, can you stop running around for a goddamn minute? <laughs> Mama say they addicted to Nuka-Cola. They drink a lot. Get up in space and sugar. Oh, that's why Daddy won't let me have too many. He said there wasn't enough room in the garden to bury anyone else. Can we go home now? The sun isn't good for my fur. I don't think Chad glued me together very well. Mama's little one give Mama lots of special stuff for Treehouse. Yay! Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is going to be the best Treehouse ever. Woo! Look, there's another of them rascals that's Guts treasure. <laughs> give them both barrels, Jesse. Woo! Doubt it. Oh, my God. It's coming right for us. Why, why bad man do that? Ooh, look at these blueprints, Jesse. Let's go kill some more of these mutated bastards. Let's take it fast. We can scare away with the brother home. Boo. <laughs> they, they killed Mama's family. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Bad. Bad man! Hey! Is that one? Nah, that's just some super mutant. They never drop anything good. Come on now. I think I heard another one clanging away over that way. <laughs> they killed Mama's family! Um, Susie? Susie, don't! Oh shit. Um can you put me down please? You you got that look again and I I don't like blood on my fur. Bad men! Punch crush puny meat bag! Now you stay here. Mama's upset. It's plate. Hmm. Then cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry. There, there. I'm sorry for Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, Punch can do. You rest, Mama. Punch gets shovel. Over here, Jesse. I heard something clanging. Well, hello there. Get it off, get it off, get it off. No. No. Wait, hey. What's wrong? No. Mama help punch? We pick up gentle. Poor mama. Poor mama's little boy. Punch sorry. No, they hit something, though. It's okay, mama. Punch hey, will you. do. Hmm, 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 hmm
playing back home with Brandon Bland and he won't catch Take him. What? Foundation. Where's the foundation? Are you okay? <coughs> Mr. Punch, let's take Mama home. We've got plenty for our treehouse. Bad men! Bad men! That's right, Mr. Punch. Bad men. Bad men from a place called Foundation. Come on, Mr. Honeypot Bear. We're going to make a costume. Uh, a costume? Never too early for tricks and treats. What that? What that? They're... They're headed for our house. Come on! Come on! We need about 18 more boards, dude. Sure thing. This is coming along nice. Yeah, kid's gonna love it. Give her a little place to play and hang out. Everything cool, Moose. Don't worry about it, bro. He'll come around. Just keep your head down. If you want to get on his good side, a few cases of old possum can warm him up a bit. <laughs> I could probably scrouch that up. It's nothing personal. It's just being us out here a bit together. Kind of got a thing going. Patsy started killing the vibe and then she up and dumped him. I was wondering where she wandered up to. Sorry to hear that. I think he was hoping it would mean the start of Bro Fit Summer Slam or something. Two bros, single and ready to mingle. That's kind of your thing, isn't it? it? Used to be. These days I just want peace and quiet. Make sure the kid's happy and safe and stuff. <laughs> You know, I used to bust my old man's balls back in the vault when he'd sit up on the upper level of the atrium with the so-called good old boys drinking their beers and watching us all run wild. I think sometimes the things we want and what's important change because we do. True enough. Plus, let's be honest, dude. We've been through some shit. Every time I hear a vertibird or a wendigo or some jackass playing with a train whistle down by the train yard it sends me in a fight mode. You ever wish things had been different out here? You don't have to tell me. Look at me. Oh yeah, shit. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I just wish I could forget all the baggage weighing me down. Plus, you remember how old Nurse Simpson used to tell us back at camp that she could predict a storm was coming because her canko would tingle or some shit? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Sometimes at night, sit out here after I read the kid her stories and tuck her in and I just listen. When you slow down enough, you can feel it. Yep. You can feel it. What? The storm. Like something's coming, but you don't know what. I... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. They got us need a vacation and just a day, one day, where nothing happens. You hear me, Santa? You can keep the cheerleader. That's what I want for Christmas this year. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go grab a few more logs. Sounds good, dude. Get your ass out from behind my trailer, whoever you are. If 
Will you make me blow a hole right through the side of my new bang bus? Ch Chad. Commander? What the hell? They're... They're coming. Johns! Hang on, dude. Got me a stem pack. He's... He's dead. Some guardsmen shot him down. Uh, I can't believe it. What? Who? Dolos. He's dead. Dolos is gone. We... We tried to... But we, we couldn't. It was too late. He's... He's moving. He's... He's taking Appalachia. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Who? The judge. The judge. He's flying the vault tech flags over Watoga. No. No. Not again. God damn it. Target neutralized. Target acquired. Secondary target acquired. Power's being cut. Defense is neutralized. Clear skies. Roger that. Stand by. Copy that. Air Tower Command, operation complete. Returning to base. Dead! Dude! Oh hell! Jake! Hey! Loser! Wake the hell up! Someone. Dart hit me. Son of a bitch, I knew it! Judiciary guard! Dad was right! Come on, get up! What are we going to do? We're gonna go get him. That's what we're gonna do. To be honest, we're kind of getting good at this, dude. I wish we'd have just moved into an underground cave so people would just leave us the hell alone. Dad? Daddy? Chad! Chad! They got him, kid. What do you mean? The judge has him. of some sort of psychotic break after being sliced open by a mole miner, she decides to take advantage of the old sickle man legends, puts on this costume, and just starts chopping their heads off. <laughs> Probably not the best way to get her point across. She could have just written a note or left a holotape lying around. Holotapes? Don't talk to me about her holotapes. She made probably 500 copies of each one. I've been carrying around these damn things forever, but don't know what to do with them. Speaking of the Overseer, if you'll excuse me, I'll collect her for dinner. Right? More wine? I really shouldn't. Never an empty glass at my table. Come on, Sinclair. When's the last time you had a good Merlot? Honestly? Labor Day, 77. Practically a lifetime ago. I insist. Say when.
way. Your courtesy and graciousness are appreciated, but the President and Top Brass have some deep concerns about the status of this project. My orders were not only to assure things get back on track, but also answer some lingering questions and concerns. In that regard, do you mind if I record our discussion? Mm, actually, I do. <laughs> All's the pity. We were given assurances that the technology would be perfected within two years of the Reclamation Day event. Not only did Vault 76 not open on the agreed-upon date, but a full five years later. Can you explain the timetable change? Look, the answer to that is a simple one. She was the wrong choice for the job. She took one look outside, and she and Security Chief Vince hacked the chronometer to give them another five years for the Scorch Plague to subside. If you want more details, the boys are bringing her up now to join us, so you'll have to ask her. On whose authority was she selected as Overseer of Vault 76? To my knowledge, at her final interview, that would have been Giles Wollstonecroft. I'm not familiar with that person. vault Assistant CEO. Real candy ass in a suit. Dr. Braun strongly advised that she be eliminated after it was discovered she'd hacked into the encrypted vault company files and military communication. She was collected by vault security and met with Dr. Braun and Wollstonecroft as 76 was nearing completion. He disappeared soon after. Not sure what happened to him. Neither are we. Right in here. I believe we're serving a Brahmin rib roast this evening, followed by a lovely... You're a son of a bitch. You know that? Speak of the devil. Come. Come join us. May I introduce Captain Ryan Sinclair, head of Sigma Squad, Enclave Department of the Army. Sinclair, meet our famous overseer, the bane of camp counselors everywhere. Yes, I've heard quite a lot about you. Overseer... What exactly? It's classified. Not to me, I think. I need your name, and I won't ask again. Adrian. Adrian Wayne. Miss Wayne. I prefer you call me the Overseer. I think after the shit I've dealt with from you people, you can afford to call me by my well-earned title. Fair enough. Please, sit. Boys, wheel in our final guest. Let me out of this monkey cage, you panty-ass dickheads! Is this him? Meet Chad Johnson, our resident pain in the ass. Tell you what, how about you open this door, and we can go round two. I'd love to see just how far up your ass I can get my boot. Charming, isn't he? He was responsible for the loss of Vault 51. He was? Not to be rude or anything. Nah, fuck it. I'll be rude. Just who the hell do you think you're supposed to be? Captain Ryan Sinclair of the Enclave. Is that like a sex cult for incels? And you're saying I can't kill him. Just how many times can I try before his molecules come apart? We're still crunching the numbers on that one. Don't worry, he's a caged animal for now, but by the time we finish here tonight, he won't be a problem anymore. Chad? Miss Overseer? You may want to toss me a bread knife so I can silver shroud my way out of this cage. Anticipating problems? Our host appears to have only given me a spork and a napkin. The spork. My old nema, 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 nema. I think you mean nemesis. <laughs> Nerd. And an incel. Mm, everything going all right? Fine! Fletcher! Just fine. Captain Sinclair here, in light of polite dinner conversation, was just hosting a little interrogation. Well, there's no need for it to be unpleasant. If anything, I'd like to help resolve any concerns from above and help expedite things for you. You'll find that the Enclave can be quite... supportive when it comes to mutual goals. Sex cult. I knew it. No one dressed in uniforms like that without some kind of wild kink. You into robots or octopus? The Enclave. Is that what you're calling yourself now? Shadow governments and conspirators who hid in coat closets. Everyone else died, but not you. Not all of you. No, not us. You know, Miss Wayne, just before you came in, we were discussing a lot of your past history, your antics, your actions. To my understanding, you had a clear directive from vault Tech, an oath and promise to fulfill. And while by all accounts you did so dutifully, when it came time to pass the torch, so to speak, so our little experiment could begin, you did quite the opposite. 
and I'd do it again. Your last name is Wayne? <laughs> kind of ruins the mystery if I'm honest. See, that there, right there, is what got us into this position as a species to begin with. Freedom of choice without guidelines, expectations, and certain agreements is messy, untidied, and unordered. A question for the table. Mr. Fletcher, when we are born, what is the very first thing that we ask for? I don't understand the question. Come on, man. You emerge into the world a brand new healthy baby boy. What do you ask for? To be hailed. You'd think so, but no. Your honor. To be fed, nurtured by our mother. Good, but no. Attention. The very first thing we do in this world is scream our lungs out for attention. The beautiful gift of life is granted to us. We experience firsthand the miracle of creation. Cells divide, grow, and multiply, and out we come. Instead of emerging in rapt wonder as our senses experience the true universe itself, the first thing we do is make it all about us. An excellent point. Ah, hell, you're one of these long-winded expo, expo, uh, one of those exhibitionist villains. Can someone wake me up when we get to the point? Ah, uh, here we are, our chef's specialty. Crown Brahmin rib roast, roasted potatoes and greens. You must try it with the au jus sauce. You're wrong. We don't make it about us. That is the dim view of a cynical mind. In truth, we spend most of our lives trying to find a place for ourselves in the world. That, by nature, I agree, is selfish. And yet, when it's in the service of others, to humanity, the act remains selfless. I did what I did because I could not, in good conscience, let them walk out of the vault door into your little rat maze without the best chance for survival. Your results be damned. Yeah, give them hell. Ah, I see now. That's it. Yes, of course. The maternal instinct, so primal, such a, if you'll excuse me, feminine trait, that it never occurred to us that that is the reason why. Why, despite swearing a duty not just to vault Tech, but to America itself, you broke your agreement. We're a family. A pretty dysfunctional family, but she's right. Family doesn't have to be blood to be true. My family is a super mutant, a walking carpet that smells like onions, a kid that scares the hell out of me, and a brother for life. It's the only thing in the end that matters. Not your power play bullshit. And any day, every day, you can come at me all you want. I can dish it out and I can take it. But the only agreement I signed is the one that says if you fuck with me and with mine, I'll tear you down in your whole damn world. No, Miss Wayne. No, Mr. Johnson. Those are delusions. Your world is cluttered, messy, unordered, and it is survival alone that created a scenario where artificial, oh so very skin deep relationships were forged through necessity, not reality. Denying this fundamental truth will lead to a very early grave for both of you. The roast is excellent. Oh, yeah, it's great. Delusion is an interesting word. You people preach patriotism and promise of some kind of new dawn for America. Democracy is non-negotiable. Rebuilding America's future today. There's a word for what you are, one pinned in blood, yet which always, always historically fails. And you know why it fails? Because when you look in the mirror, you're so deluded that you see yourself as a god, as opposed to the cold, crushing reality of just how small and impotent you really are. Oh. You slapped a woman, dude? Weak. Sir. There's no need for- Not now, Fletcher. You were saying? The first one to strike is the weakest. Because it's the easiest thing in the world. 
Violence is the idiot's answer to... Why don't you come over here and try and slap me, dude? I've always wondered just how much of a backhand it would take to snap a neck. Please, continue, Miss Wayne. No? Nothing more. Simply delicious. I quite imagine you're well-educated, Miss Wayne, and I'm sure could speak at exhausting length about the founding fathers of this country, so indulge me if you already know this little nugget of history. In 1595, when this land was still yet to be tamed, in France, Jesuit priests took it upon themselves to collect and instruct on a set of rules to serve as a framework for an ordered society. Though widely circulated at the time, they had little impact until almost two centuries later when a Virginia schoolmaster conducted a penmanship exercise in class. Slowly and by hand, quills swirling with a steady hand, these 110 rules were copied by a young but promising student named George Washington. At an essential age for a boy on the cusp of manhood, these rules on common courtesy, civility, and chivalry became the defining tenets of his life. Later, they would serve as the framework and spirit for an orderly and aristocratic United States of America. Now, this is essential to history because it allowed for the dirty, unwashed, uncultured rabble of farmers, fishermen, masons, and blacksmiths to become civilized and, more importantly, to dream of a perfect union. They were called the rules of civility and decent behavior in company and conversation. My personal favorite is rule number 82. Undertake not what you cannot perform, but be careful to keep your promise. If you couldn't do the job, you shouldn't have taken it, Miss Wayne. Because of your actions, myself and my men have left a spotlessly clean, orderly, and uncluttered installation to once again wade into the shit with the rest of the rabble. And I once again find myself eating the flesh of a two-headed cow and pretending it's delicious, because that, my dear, is civil and decent to my host. The Enclave is the inevitable result of a world unordered, headed toward its inexorable end. We're the civil and decent framework to start again. Perhaps a little more worldly wise in what society requires and agreements to maintain that order. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Someone gonna kill me so I can sail to the atomic shop? I have my eye on an ice cream store for the kid. Hmm, that's sage advice for anyone to be sure. Well said, Sinclair. Please, for the love of God, get to the point. Why are we here? Finally, a question from the caged dog worth acknowledging. Getting back to the status of the array, data submitted and reviewed by Enclave Research indicated a steep decline in the anticipated kill-to-death ratio of subjects required to algorithmically correct transcription errors. Now, this occurred approximately three months post-Reclamation Day. What do you attribute this to? Search me. The workshop resource conflict zones were set up as planned. Automated drone reward drops for life-threatening events and missions worked as expected. May I answer that question? Yes, yes, you may. See? Civility. It's so much less painful, isn't it? Enlighten me. Fletcher, would you get that? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Continue, Miss Wayne. Vault 76 was positioned as a control vault to our residents, wanting for nothing, with finer accommodations, technology, and resources than other vault installation, it appears. You created a scenario for them to live together, grow together, and live in peace, free of conflict and division. Though billed as a place to save the best and the brightest of us, that was just slick marketing. We didn't go in there as the best and the brightest, but by the time we emerged, today and forever, they are the best of us. They chose to try and work together, build together, find friendships, love, and family out here. They also know who you are, what you've done, and what's been done to them. All excellent points. Other vaults had different scenarios that would have encouraged a more vigorous struggle for resources out here. It was clearly a mistake on behalf of Vault-Tec. 
Fletcher, is it time? Yes, Your Honor. It appears as though our new friend Roper delivered on our arrangement. The uplink handshake has been confirmed. We have command line access. Lazarus Array awaiting instructions. Excellent. Make sure the boys downstairs give them access to the parking garage as agreed. Look, Sinclair, I can understand your frustration. It's been frustrating for us as well, which is why we've taken measures to course correct. This clearly isn't working as we anticipated, but the very nature of experimentation is discovery and enlightenment. Sometimes messy, but always instructive. What is the current completion date for the sanctuary facility in the mire, Fletcher? Two more months. We've been assured the system can hold molecular patterns twice that length of time, but Somnus conditioning can proceed in groups of five starting as early as next week if we keep them sedated here in Watoga. Splendid! What are you going to do? An excellent question. I'd like to be briefed on any action before you proceed. Yeah, yeah, we're getting to that, Sinclair. Overseer, Chad, if you'll excuse us. Fletcher, Sinclair, if you can step over here, please. I'm sorry. What? Hey, get up and run. What the hell's wrong with you? Now's your chance. To go where? <laughs> Conference room partition J5. Activate. What is this? Fletcher? Fletcher! Late my words. I'm gonna tear this tower down, you little dick sons of a I don't enjoy games, Judge. Games? No games here. You wanted a briefing, you wanted results and problems solved, watch, and you can take this back to your army boys. Sir? I have some concerns about... I said not now, Fletcher. Bring up the surveillance monitors and set camera feeds to cycle. Yes, sir. These are live feeds of the entire region? Almost. It appears that Chad and his gang dismantled the camera feeds in the ash heap, but that's no matter. Resonant frequency calibrated and ready for transmission. Did you have a carrier choice? Surprise me. Selecting track five. Establishing override of Pip-Boy radio receivers. Block 125, lock. Block 250, lock. Lazarus Array standing by. My patience is wearing thin. It's Christmas, St. Clair. You don't ask what's in the present before you open it. Watch and listen. This glass partition is soundproofed, and in a short moment, you'll be thankful it is. Miss Wayne in there, currently throwing things around, and Chad, attempting to urinate on an electrical panel to escape, will offer an instructive close-up of a new asset we've developed to fully restore experimental control here in Appalachia. We're ready to transmit. If their pit boy speakers don't blow out first. You're aware of the Vault 92 experiment in your neck of the woods? Of course. White noise mind suggestion combat experimentation. One of our more covert attempts at remote command and control of the population for conflict areas. Exactly. During the field test, there was an accident that their overseer had to quietly cover up when testing modulated low-frequency white noise. An overload caused transmission of a resonant frequency into the sound booth, leading to an unplanned discovery the implantation of the alien DNA into Alt Vault 76 residents that makes Project Lazarus possible comes with a data sheet that helpfully included its resonant frequency. So? So we know the exact frequency at which every modified cell in their bodies will resonate. You ever played with a wine glass and some water? Watch! Fletcher? It's done. God help us. Come on, grab that fork over there. Get me out of here. Warning. Calliope 1 sonic weapon is now charging. Sonic weapon? Oh dear God, no! He can't. What the hell is a sonic weapon? The Calliope 1 sonic weapon will automatically commence transmission. In T-minus five, four, three, two, one. My Pip-Boy? What the? Please stand 
Pi for an important message from vault -Tec. Thank you for your service to your country. <laughs> Is this a joke? You're trolling everyone with music, dude. <laughs> what a... Oh! <sighs> Oh, 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 my head! What? Oh. What is this? What did he? What did he? Oh, God. oh, he's killing us! Oh, he's killing us all at once! Ah! Oh. Uh, we can't stay dead. So, so what? What is he? Uh, oh, God, my head! Dare you? I don't care if you're from here originally or not. Spruce Knob was our home, our Pioneer Scout camp. Now be off with you before I contact the authorities. Brian? Brian? Our radios. What's happening? Something's wrong. Uh, We're getting an external radio it's, connection. There's Marianne. something wrong. Marianne. With this song. Marianne. Some kind of. Oh, kid. Oh, oh stop uh, it. My. Head. Oh, Lord, my head! It's... What's with this music, dude? I don't know. What's wrong with all of them? No idea, but this is awesome. They just really hate this goldy oldie shit. Hey, Pats, you finished trying on that blouse yet? Let's grab and go! See if they can catch us shoplifting again! Oh, God! Something's wrong! Patsy! It's in my Bats. head! It's in my Come head! Come on! What is it? Give me a stim pack! What's wrong with her? A stim pack, damn it! Now! Cool your tits, lover boy. Here you go. Oh. Oh. It's not working. Oh. It's gotta be. That song? Doing something to them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, what the fuck? P has exploded! Patsy! Oh god, Patsy! <laughs> it's fine. She's gotta get out a death trump card. Watch! See? She's fading away already! What? What is that? Paper bag. Want some spoiled meat? <laughs> Where is she? Where did she go? Where did they all go? What's happening? We're going to war, kid. That's what's happening. Grab all the weapons we've got in the back. Dude, come on. The Chad needs us. We're gonna raid that tower and light it up. Punch mad. Punch big mad. <laughs> Owie! Punch got boo boo. Save that for those judiciary guards, dude. Remember what we talked about. Punch smash heads? That's right, dude. Crush those melons and go. No one is telling me what's happening. <laughs> Mama say she bring the pain. Make guards hurt bad. She going to get all her more people friends. Dig under what toga. Moose, look. No, oh, you look, dude. We don't have to like each other. That goes without saying. But we need all the firepower we can get. What are you any good with? Melee? Heavy weapons? I mean, I'm a diner chef. Jesus Christ, dude. Look here. Bird cards. Yeah, that's a set to genetic magically turn your scrawny ghoul ass into a palm sweaty commando stud build. Yeah, let me just touch them. Nah, dude. No time for that one card at a time genetic encoding crap. Eat them. What? Eat the deck. Duh, no promo. Um, okay. There you go, dude. <coughs> Let's go, bro, swallow. We've got places to go. <coughs> you good? Good. I'll never be good again, but neither will they. The pain trade is rolling out of the station. Saddle up, boys. Lock and load. Simplify. Hoorah! Okay, but like, 
You can put your shirt back on, bro. Are they going to hurt him? We have to save him. We have to go get him. We will, kid. Don't worry. Old Moose has got a trick up his sleeve. Let's see how those Watoga gates stand up to our repaired picker up truck. Punch bro, you driving? Um, can't turn my pit boy radio off. Please stand by for an important message from vault -Tec. Thank you for your service to your country. No! Yeah, Susie, what, what's wrong? Oh what is it? Duck it up, soldier. We're under some kind of sonic attack. Is that all you got? Bring it on! Remember Anchorage! Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. If a little messy. You use the resonant frequency to, to shake their modified molecules apart. Everyone, everywhere, all at once. To what end? They'll just respond. Ah, that's the interesting part. Somnus conditioning will allow us to... Warning. Abnormal pattern received. Duplicate data detected. Lazarus array standing by for instruction. Pattern is unidentified. Pattern is not on file. What is that? This shouldn't be here. There's someone in the buffer that is unregistered with the array. Give me a pattern analysis. It's coming as Chad Johnson's profile, but somehow he's in here twice. No way. It's Chad and a little girl. No, a ghoul. That ghoul kid of his? Susie? How the hell is that possible? Well, I'm not sure. We need to do something as the error has halted the program until it's resolved. Can she be registered with the array? Not without losing other patterns in the buffer forcing it to switch functions. Delete her. What? Delete her. You said she's a ghoul? Yes, but she's a kid. Not anymore. Purge it. Come on, Sinclair. Jesus, that, that's cold even for me. It wasn't a suggestion. Yes, sir. Come on, let's finish our dinner before it gets cold. And Fletcher, get some boys up here. We're gonna need some mops. Conference room partition J5, deactivate. You were explaining about the next phase? Oh, you're gonna love this. Let's look at the plan for this Sanctuary Acres facility. Your people, you are like musical notes on a page. A temptation here, a curse there, and eventually you have oh such Beautiful song, Misery in G Minor. Too far. Too fucking far. I'm not killing a kid. And this is not justice. This is something far worse that wears the cloak of justice and delivers fear and darkness. Each person a note. Each event a chord. Until at last, everything, everything is connected. My symphony, ready to play just like it was on October 23rd, 2077. Oh, that was lovely. The concert was not concluded. Pattern isolated. Pattern contained. Executing transfer to QA smoke. Coordinates. Zero, zero, lock. Pattern purged. Resuming program. That's the best I can do for you, kid. Good luck in there. Episode 19, titled, Little Sanctuary of Horrors. <laughs>